My name is Adrienne Allen, and you're watching Public Eye Report. The Public Eye Report, Saturday, 7.30 p.m. for politics, profiles, and perspectives. I'm Evangel Sharon J. Hill, getting a little help from my friends and connecting you globally with features of images and issues. It's about you, and it's about our youth. And that's right. We're here for you to be the difference and share your happenings, history makings, and consciousness on Facebook and Twitter. We want to see you right here. Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. for the Public Eye Report. Report. We're here with Reverend Samuel Mastella, principal, and I don't know, um, you know, we need to round it out. This is about education, but the time right now as we speak of these things to be thankful for, a giving time, mm. which really should be all the time. Mm. So <laughs> we want to, you know, give of, um, you know, wisdom right now for our young people in the meantime to, as you have already laid out that, you know, the system is set. However, um, we're in the game. So we need to play the game. We need to play the game to win. We, and we need to get more players in the game, uh, real players, because what we've got is folks that somebody else sent to us. Uh, uh, we, we don't need them. What we need is real players. Like when I came along, we had people who really had community at heart not just mouthpieces that talked about community. Okay. All right, so now what do we do with these young folks? Yes. I spent six months uh, with uh, principals in the middle school in Fulton County, with lawyers, with entertainers, with producers, trying to figure out how to communicate with young folks. Because I'm 52 years old. I know I don't look it, I know I don't look it, but I'm 52, and so when, when, when I try to talk to a 12, 15, 20-year-old, they don't want to hear what I'm saying because I got gray hair and I'm old. To them, and so I remind them that I was the first hip hop. Oh. I was a teenager when hip hop came out. So how are you going to teach me hip hop? Yeah, okay. and so but 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 the real thing we have to have is be real. That's the first thing. If you don't love children, don't try to go into teaching. Stay away from the classroom. If you don't love children, that's the second thing. The, the third thing is you got to fool children. They forced us because we were under segregation. It, it was either it was either uh, um, it was either root hog or yeah root hog or die uh, uh, for us. So, so we didn't have no choice. Segregation. But these children have 50 choices, and and 40 and, and out of the 50 choices, 40 of them are bad for them, and they're making 40 choices that are detrimental for their long-term uh, um, economic well-being. Mm -hmm. We have got to fool them into. And that's what we find out. Found out. My friend Charles Sanders, who's a playwright here in this city, um, told me, look, we can't try to teach them, you can't preach it to them, you can't lecture it to them, you got to fool them. If you don't fool these children, you will never get them the way you want them to get. Because if you don't fool them and send them through entertainment, send them through this, send them through the things that they love, you'll never be able to get them and they'll wander off this way and never get what they need to have in the time frame they've got to have. they only got a short time frame to get it. If, if they don't get it between 18 and 22, it's going to be 30, 35 years old before they can ever recover. I don't care who they are. It's just that way. And so we've got to, we've got to fool them into using money, entertainment, technology. every technique, technology, everything they love to trick them into learning their ABCs, one, two, three, know how to read, write, and do arithmetic. Okay. And so that puts us back That's the to, solution. That puts us back to getting back to the basics of Schoolhouse no. Rock, okay? Yeah, we, <laughs> we, we did some collaboration a couple of years ago on, and wrote um, back, back, to to basics. back to Basics. Back to Basics. Yes, back to sir, Basics. No, sir. Beginning. Manners. Miss Manners and uh, talked about the basics of, 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 of talking about those things that are real in the lives of young folks. And just yeah, reinforcement. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we're talking about. Yeah. The reinforcement education is key when you're speaking about the, um, what, the 10 mm -hmm. that they don't do. That's mm -hmm. what we're appealing to um, for those to whom much is given, much is required. And we're speaking to our business owners, to those parents that know that the time is now. 10 is a number of execution. And so that's what we want to happen mm -hmm. with this information is for you to execute it to guide them, to lead them, and to direct them for their time. If we don't, we, we, everybody, every human being loves to produce something, even if they don't know it. Mm -hmm. um, that's how I ended up into organic yeah. gardening and stuff, mm -hmm. is because uh, I found out that I could capture the 10 and 12 year old rappers and all uh, if they could produce something. And how excited they were to grow carrots and 
some, some turnip salad and some collard greens in a small little patch by the church over at Mount Pleasant over on 17 Mellon Avenue. And they would run out there every Sunday morning before they even come to see me and see what the garden was and see how I produced. And I was like, man, they, this really energizes these children. And it's so simple, yet most of us are so sophisticated now because we decided that instead of me growing up on the farm, I grew up with my father being a lawyer and we had a swimming pool and I was a jet setter and all that. No, I grew up on a farm and somebody probably come tell me that. So most of us are faking it. Most of us, our age group, faking it because there wasn't much opportunity stop. before us. So gotta we got to stop faking it, faking it and get real. And it's time to make it. That is to make our youth our future. Uh, one of our presidents, Franklin Roosevelt, said that we can't always build the future for our youth, but we can build our youth for the future. And on that note, we thank you for joining us. Yes. This your public eye report, images and issues. We're connecting globally, for we are our sisters and brothers keepers. Amen. Thank you for joining us.